but to revisit something as traumatic as abuse um, can be frightening up front, but it's certainly worth the healing that's going to come out on the other hand. There, HSA community. Good morning. Happy to be here with you today. Happy Thursday. You know, so I got a new look going this morning. <laughs> so as I was thinking about you all today, I was reflecting on confidence. And, you know, I hop up in the morning, I do my thing, I get ready. And often this is my look until I have like my first session of the day. And then like I strip that off, get my hair all pretty, whatever. And I was thinking a little bit about um, what happens when we start to feel confident. Particularly, this was spurred um, last night. I went to a screening of a film um, called Resilience. It's all about um, the ACE study, and if you're not familiar with the acute childhood experiences study, then I encourage you to go check that out. It has really a lot to do with how we, um, our childhood experiences impact our health and our outcomes and these sorts of things. Those are not permanent. There's a lot of um, changeability in that, but it does um, sometimes give us a better understanding about our experience and what's going on for us um, in our adult lives. Anyway, so I'm at this filming and afterwards there's this Q&A and uh, one of the women in the audience, you know, raises her hand, but then she's really belligerent. Like, she's really like, why isn't this like, you know, just a part of this screening, a part of every medical professional's, you know, um, process? And, you know, there was an answer given, like we're in the works, we're trying to change the medical system so that people are more trauma informed. In fact, that's a project that I'm working on with some of my um, team as well. But she just couldn't like step back from that, right? And you could just feel like everyone in the room kind of get uncomfortable. It's like one of those moments where you just felt someone like being really out of sorts and what I would call dysregulated, right? We talk a lot about that. And I also think insecure, right? Like when we find ourselves in these places, sometimes we, we fall apart, we don't know how to respond. Long story short, I'm showing up for you today as this, right? Not my, you know, coach Rachel self, just my Rachel self, right? <laughs> And um, I think that's one of the things that starts to happen when we feel confident. We just show up as ourselves, right? There's no pretending. There's no facade. There's no, I've got to look a certain way. I've got to sound a certain way. Um, and, you know, this has been hard earned because for most of my life, pretending and hiding and covering up was certainly more the case than not. So my little mini challenge to you all today is to find a way to just be yourself, right? Show up in a way that drops the facade. Find a safe, simple way to do that. Maybe you want to take a picture of yourself, you know, in your own little do after, you know, and put it here um, on the thread, whatever way that looks for you. But mostly I want you to just consider that part of being confident is getting to show up as yourself all the time, more often than not, and to just feel really comfortable in your own skin, right? So that's my greatest hope for all of you, that you can find that and feel that and be that, because from that grows all sorts of things. We get to take little risks. We get to be daring. We get to have adventures. We get to build relationships. There's so much that flows from that, right? So um, have a really beautiful rest of your day. I hope you enjoy um, stepping into just being you a little bit today. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Bye now.